Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on these NPC characters. As you can see, these NPC characters also have guns in their hands. So this guy has a MP5. This is a Uzi, and this is an AK. So they don't. Uh, for the moment, they can't actually shoot at me. I haven't implemented that part. So what I'm going to do is like define a way to. Uh, implement a way to define the default gun class the character should have and yeah that's it so they will equip uh, they will have that gun when we start the game so here is that variable I have implemented so they will automatically uh, have that gun when we start playing the game so let's see how to do that today okay so in ALS system we already have this AI system which allows uh, characters to randomly walk around in the navigation mesh while looking at the player so this is the the default behavior tree we have this one set focus basically it gets a reference to the player character uh, player pawn and set the AI characters focus to that character so to that pawn uh, by set focus by that uh, what it means is like NPC player character will keep looking at this character the player character so here is the ALS AI controller it doesn't have anything it just on process runs this behavior tree which is the one I showed you here and also here in this part uh, it gets a random location around the player uh, around the character in the navigation mesh and set the ta random target location and with this node the character moves to that random location and wait four seconds this cycle continues so basically this is what happens here right now to test that uh, let me instead of just placing this character and placing it in the world let me create a child blueprint i'll call it ls and pc the reason i made it a uh, uh, child blueprint is so that i can do some modifications that i don't need uh, to have for the player character right or wait maybe that's not necessary at this stage at least so let me just delete this right let's place an instance of this anime man make sure to place it in this navigation mesh enabled area this is the navigation mesh when you press p you can see the navigation mesh in green right if you press p again it goes away so right now here as the under phone i have this is already enabled als ai control and if i play the game you see this guy is moving around while looking at the player right uh, first let me rename this ls and pc also i'll give a different color next thing I want to do is I want this character to have a gun by default because for the player can go to a 
paper and stamp and pick up the but I don't need that part to do for the NPC where they're just enemies they should have a gun by default right so how can we do that so if I open a gun if I open the base gun blueprint the way player pick up the gun is through this uh, swap gun function so this is implemented through CLMBPI character right. now let's go to the character blueprint and under guns uh well let's test the method where's the beginning play oh we do not have begin play right then Begin play here. Uh, let's create actor from class, spawn actor from class. So I'll select PP gun. Split. I'll keep everything as default values since two. Get uh, value self promote no then this results I'll call swap gun like this uh, I'll give a key if this is working by default I should have an AK yeah I have one right and same as me oh i can't why can't i move moments are blocked go to variant function I think that's what went wrong because some stuff are uh, happening in the variant class great yeah that was the issue I press F3 I think F2 400 more by mistake okay so now I do have a weapon Now let's polish this part a bit. Mm. Let's promote this to function. Collapse to function. Uh, add weapons. Default weapons. right and i'll promote this to uh, variable mm. Uh, 
and this is actor uh, what if I change this to Vipika oh sorry weapon type not actor class can be vegan class reference and I'll put it under guns default weapon Oh wait this why is this a uh, actor for us this uh, instance editable now here I can I should be able to define whatever the con class I want to use Different weapon should come under guns here yeah for the player I'll choose M16 for the enemy I'll give away key for some reference let me duplicate this this guy should have a shotgun this guy should have a mp5 right oh, we can't see them because the gun is in the back They do have the current counter. This guy has AK. This guy has MP5. He has uh, the shotgun. Must work. All right. So that is working. All right. So how do we make these guys equip the weapon? Actually, this uh, must work it's not a primary weapon so to avoid complications i'll do a primary weapon and here i have input events to equip primary weapon but the NPC characters don't have input actions so what we can do is character BPI let me open CLM BPI character blueprint interface do we already have a method to equip now mm. so let's add one Talk 
Beispiel Just want to check if I already have that. Okay, toggle weapon. Where did I edit? Can we put this under guns? As an input, I'll give and gun category. Right now, oh, right. I had to connect per force. Okay, uh, right now, gun category is here. Mm, no, what we have to do is. and call the same switch weapon macro and as the category do we have is valid check yeah we have guns find the required category this is a map which holds gun category and gun actor reference right um, okay now in this LSA controller let's give a delay of let's say one second and after that let's get controlled phone to toggle weapon category primary right let's see now if they equip the guns yeah they do all right so okay and i'm gonna stop this episode right here so at the moment they don't shoot or anything they just keep the gun in the hand and yeah that's all i wanted for now so in future let's see how to make them like make more advanced like have patrols a gun shoot at enemy hide take cover all those things let's look into them in future and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download in the patron page Link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye